centered over our ball. Okay, now I've got a steel shot of me right here um, in the middle of the screen. Now, this is how we stay centered. Okay, now I'm going to just, this is all I'm going to talk about. I'm just going to talk about the center because if you can get the center right, okay, then what I'll do is I'll send you the free grip and posture video, okay, that goes with this particular uh, posture position. Okay, now this is a posture position that if done right and if you set up right over the ball, swing into the top of your back swing center becomes a lot, a lot more um, accessible or a lot easier. Uh, to do that. Now how you stay centered is the rear hip goes back. Okay, the rear hip goes back as you have a little more weight on your lead leg. Now at setup, at your setup, you have a little more weight on your lead leg. Okay, uh, about 10% more simply because you want to stay centered going to the top of your backswing. So the physics behind this is, and this is no swing tip or this is no swing theory or, you know, um, whatever you want to call it. This is how it works. Okay. So again, as the rear hip goes back, see the rear hip has to go back. It can't sway. So as the rear hip goes back, you've got to have a little more weight on your lead leg to keep your body centered. Okay. And if you can keep your body centered, okay, now you have the ability now to drop the club straight down to the slot and have the club come from the inside to hit the ball. Okay. Now in the picture you see on the right, I have a front view of, I think this is a driver swing, okay, and as you can see, I'm centered over the ball, um, heads behind the ball as I, as I begin to drop my arms uh, straight down the swing plane, okay, now, one more note here is, you see how my head is positioned behind the ball, okay, very important to, uh, when you swing center to keep that head behind the ball, I'll get more than that in other videos, okay, now, as we look at another video, I'm sorry, another screenshot here, Notice how I have a down the line view of the picture on the right. Okay, again, same setup. It's the same, it's the same centered posture. Okay, I'm hitting a driver, and as you can see, I get plenty of shoulder turn um, to, to hit down through the ball. Okay, but what happens, guys, is we will make practice swings like this. You know, we'll take our club and we'll put it in our hands and we'll we'll try to get the feel, the centered swing. But what happens is when we actually get over the ball, let me show you what happens sometimes. When we actually get over the ball, okay, and I'm showing you this, you know, how it works. You know, everybody can do that. But when we, when we get over the ball, what happens is we just automatically just load on our trail side and we try to flip through the ball. Okay, it, has not, it, looks, it looks nothing like the practice swing that we just did or the practice drill, okay, we just did. Okay, and I know that's frustrating to a lot of you. Okay, that's very frustrating because you know you do make good practice swings. But here's a drill I'm going to show you a drill. Okay, and I show you there how you try to lift up on the ball. Okay, here's a drill. Okay, put the club out in front of you, and what I want you to do is we're going to just posture you right and just go to the top of your backswing. Okay, now it doesn't matter where your rear elbow goes, okay, because this is just a field drill. Okay. But again, you see how the center runs up through my shaft, up through my, my sternum, and I don't come off the ball. Head has to lead cheek or head has to stay behind the ball. Okay. Again, when your hip goes back, you've got to have a little more weight on your lead leg okay, to counterbalance the hip going back. Again, the objective for you to stay centered. That's the objective. Okay. There's no way you can... Uh, Go to the top of your back swing, your rear hip rotate back, okay, and then you put more weight on your on your uh, trail leg, okay. That would sway you off the ball, okay. You see how my shoulders are still in a, almost in a direct line, you know, on the ball. Now you may not be able to go back this far, but any level of shoulder rotation, okay, in here is going to work as long as you what, as long as you stay centered, okay. So in other words, if you can't go, let's say ninety degrees. Let's say you can only go, you know, right here. Let's say you, you can only go 60 degrees. We'll go 60 degrees on a center turn. Don't try to go 60 degrees swaying back. Or don't try to go 90 degrees swaying back thinking you're going to get more power because that's not going to work because the more you sway back, the more you have to sway back through, okay, which is going to bring you over the top, okay, to get through the ball. Okay, so, so that's how it works. Now, again, when you couple... 
the proper 2-6 grip and posture with this particular uh, spine center drill, okay, you're going to find it a lot easier to strike your ball a lot better. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put your name and email address in the box. Click the link below, put your name and email address in the box, and what I'll do is I'll send you the free official copy of the Master 2-6 Grip and Posture video along with other videos, okay, that go right along with the Grip and Posture, okay, so you don't have any confusion, okay, zero confusion in terms of how you use the uh, 2-6 leverage grip and posture, again, with the centered with the centered swing. Now, this is going to feel awkward. I, I can tell you right now, for those of you who have been swinging off the ball for years, okay, this is going to feel like you're top heavy, okay, but again, because the hip goes back, 10% more weight's on the lead leg, that keeps you centered, okay? And when it keeps you centered, then you get to be in positions like the one you see on the picture on your right, and then that's the down the line view, and then the picture right here, okay, in the front view, okay, that keeps you where you need to be, okay? Again, Terry Bradley here, 2-6 player, 2-6 golfer. Guys, I will talk to you on the next YouTube Live.